orange, of course. It's Halloween. How can I not? Look, I don't have orange on, but I got my Halloween on. <laughs> What's your favorite candy or vice? I'm almost afraid to admit this, but my favorite candies are Smarties. And I actually read on a Halloween list recently that the number one worst candy to give out at Halloween is Smarties. So what does that say about me? I have no idea. <laughs> What's your favorite quilting technique? Cut it up. Use my scissors. Just cut up the fabric, turn it into something else, and if you hate it, cut it up again. What's your favorite quilting tool? My scissors! A big surprise! <laughs> Who or what is your favorite quilting inspiration? My grandmother, of course, because I wouldn't be doing any of this if it wasn't for sleeping under her big polyester scrap quilts. <laughs> what was your worst quilting disaster and were you able to fix it? Most of my quilts start out as a quilting disaster. And if that all fails, cut it apart and make it beautiful. Keep going on it until it looks really fantastic. What was your greatest quilting triumph? Mm, well, saving those really bad, awful quilts. Cutting them up until all of a sudden they just sing to you and turn into something fabulous. I love that. What would you like to do in the world of quilting that you haven't done yet? Uh, take a nap. <laughs> if you could watch anyone else in the world make a quilt, who would you like to watch? Oh, Jean Ray Lowry. Big fan of hers from when I was a kid. And just the playful, whimsical of it, I would do anything to be able to sit and watch her make a quilt. And if you didn't quilt, what would you do? Oh, I'm trained as a painter, so I would have to probably do that. Or I'd get on my Harley and go for a ride with Ricky and, and, and Justin all the way across the country. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs>